Did you know that rock and roll superstar Bruce Springsteen is an Italian American? At a time when rock music was at one of its lowest ebbs, Springsteen came along and revitalized rock and roll. In a cover story in Time Magazine, Springsteen credited his songwriting and storytelling ability to his maternal grandfather, named Zifarelli, in a national television special honoring Frank Sinatra on his 80th birthday. Springsteen dedicated a song to Sinatra by saying, Frank, here's a song from one Italian saloon singer to another. Did you know that rock and roll superstars Steve Tyler and Joe Perry of Aerosmith are Italian Americans? Did you also know that Oscar winning actress Anne Bancroft is an Italian American? This great screen actress was born Anne Italiano. Of course, there are numerous other Oscar winning performers who most people don't know are Italian. For example, Oscar winner Susan Sarandon, who has starred in numerous hit films, is an Italian American. As is Oscar winner Nicolas Cage, who also happens to be the nephew of the great film director Francis Ford Coppola. Talia Shire, who has starred in all five Rocky films and The Godfather Saga, is an Italian American, and the sister of director Francis Coppola. Actresses Bernadette Peters and Connie Stevens are Italian Americans, as are singers Bobby Rydell and the late Bobby Darin. Did you know that during the Second World War, the symbol of the working woman on the home front was a character named Rosie the Riveter? Her image adorned thousands of posters across the nation. What is not so well known is that the character of Rosie the Riveter was based upon Italian-American Rosie Bonavita of New Jersey. Did you also know that during World War II, more Italian-Americans fought in the armed forces of the United States than any other ethnic group? Fully 20% of the nation's fighting force was made up of Italian-Americans. This is particularly interesting given the fact that the country of Italy was a part of the Axis powers whom the Allies were fighting. This was cause for great concern for numerous Italian American families. I do know that uh, my father during the war he used to buy war bonds and at one point my mother even said to him, Dominic, do you realize that every time you buy a war bond you are you know, supplying money to send bombs over your parents' head in Italy. And he said, I'm an American. The World War II years were a time of trouble for me as a, as a young, not very secure American, because that's when being Italian wasn't very, very flattering at all. The problem I had with my father during World War II is that his capacity to break away from his Italianness, which he did when he was a man who arrived in this country in 1922. But in 1942, 20 years later, when I'm 11, and then I'm 12 in 1943, the whole idea of Italy was an embarrassment because, because of Mussolini and, and, and the old country, and because my father's brothers and uncles were drafted in the, in the Italian army and they were fighting for Mussolini. 